All right, much appreciated, Coach, as we welcome all of you to our exclusive coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Brooklyn Barons. The first quarter of the season already in the rearview mirror, and off we go in week five on EA Sports. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. I think defensively, you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where Every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And he'll give it here to his running back. And this won't be enough to pick up the first, a gain of two, third and one. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety? coming up and making the big-time play. So just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. Watch the boot. Watch the boot. Shit, shit. Leo, Leo. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. That's taken it around the 40. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And the Jaguars go on offense. First down and 10. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Now it's Wilson. And connecting here with DJ Shark. That is going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. But Jacksonville first down on a pickup of 17. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. There goes a deep ball, in zone, and that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. D.K. Metcalf, his sixth touchdown of the season as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Hopkins with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. 
And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little bit jumpy. Know, you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went three and out. And now they have that opportunity. Uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, touch and time are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Six, six, pull it high. Check, check, one, three. Now a handoff here to his running back. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 11 yards there, first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Throwing on first down. Herbert, he completes this into the hands of Miller. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. You better come harder next time, sir. It's a game of five, brings up second and five. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. On the ground with Bryce Love, the former Stanford Cardinal. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys... Hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Down. And the Jags have five in the secondary here on third down. Watch the run, watch the hey, Sam off. Back to throw. Herbert. And that's knocked away and incomplete. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. And look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And that's going to make it second and 14. Mike, Mike, 
Here's Wilson to throw. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. That one good for 26 and a first down. That's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary, figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Good job right there. Good job right there. Now a play fake here on first down. And that's caught inside the 35. That one goes for 30 yards. How about this first quarter for them throwing the football? This defense has zero answers for what they've seen so far with the ball in the air. I'm not sure how they're going to change things around, but offensively, I keep attacking. I keep throwing the football until they make me change. Wilson now already over 100 yards passing in just this first quarter. It's first and 10. They'll try the right side here with Fournette. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. Touchdown, Jaguars! Leonard Fournette, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. And there you go, nothing really too complex. Block, keep to your assignments, let them run it in, they did it. Fundamental football, good blocking, beats good tackling on that play, and result, touchdown. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Ready, ready. 60 or. Stop your whining. Mike, 53. 53. Look at me. Go up. Go up. Hey, orbit. Doom, doom, doom. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Brought in here by Tyler Eifert. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 12 yards as they get to reset the sticks. Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop it? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. Hey, exit. 53 is the mark. 53. On first and 10, Herbert. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Kill, kill, kill. Turn up. Blue drop. 
Porker. Check, check, check. Hard, hard. Hit. This is Love. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. They can't hang with us. Squeeze. To throw on third down. Herbert. They'll find Miller. That's complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. First down at the 29 yard line. Set up. 18 Gator. Number 53. Mike. You're out. Let's go, let's go. Pilot, 64. Wait. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Leo, Leo. Now the former fourth round pick, it's Kalen Balaj. And the tackle there by Quan Alexander. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight at the 26 yard line. Last run got a couple here, second and eight. 14 nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Let's go now. Eight, three. I hope you go on. Go on. A little flare. A little flare. 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 Watch the air. Christone Travis. Look at me, zipper! Mike, hey, Wahoo! Mike, Mike. He's He's to throw on second down. Herbert throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Kyle Juszczyk, the fullback, the intended target. And that takes us from second to third down. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. The offense on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and eight. Operating from the gun, Herbert, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get up field and get after the quarterback. Been such an impressive first half to get that lead. And he's going to miss this one. That is no good. Well outside the left upright. And this score will stay right where it is. Now listen, now no kick from 50-plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, and it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their backgrounds. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. They go play action here on first down. And this is taken in at the five. Touchdown, Jaguars. Russell Wilson with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers, 
That meant fly route, go. Uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying... Looking for his tight end, Eifert, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. And this one will be brought back to the 22. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. What? Hey. Blue there, blue there. Alert three, alert three. Alert three. Touch Milky, touch Milky. What? After the interception, here's Wilson. That one complete. He finds Sharp. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Mark that as a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. Shotgun, Wilson. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. DJ Chark, the intended target, but it'll be second and goal. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? What? During what? film what? study, that's what? one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Making a hat trick for Russell Wilson. Three touchdown passes now. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. Extra point good by Hopkins. And the route is on here in this first half. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Typically down to the first half, I might say, I oh, at least need a field goal out of this drive, but they're down to the point where they need a touchdown, don't they? Yeah, normally you know me. I mean, you've been around me for a while now, right? Unfortunately. I'm the, yeah, I'm sorry about that. But normally I'm the one pr uh, preaching patience. Yeah. You know, take your time, first half, you still got a chance. I think they're out of patience here. This has to be a drive that gets a touchdown. So if you're the play caller, you're going to that portion of the sheet that says big-time plays, specials, anything you can use to get yourself back into it. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Looking to throw. Herbert got him in. It's Brown. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. That's a good shot. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two at the 43 yard line. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. He's coming. He's coming. Yep. We got double up. Double up. Right there, 54. Right there. On the carry, it's Love. 
And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. This offense so far on third down, they've only converted once in four tries. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. touchdown on the season as they are now on the board here in the first half. I'm not sure that they have illusions right now of, okay, we're going to score eight times in a row and we're going to be terrific, but to get one, that was huge for them. That has to feel much better right now. And you do have, we're still in the first half, you do have the entire second half. It's something about that goose egg that just looked bad on that board, but now they've broken it. Yeah, broken through. Can they maintain the pace? We'll see as we go along. Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They are just putting things together so well here, drive after drive. They really have captured the momentum, haven't they? They've taken momentum and pretty much not just give them a jersey, but a seat on the bench as well. <laughs> it's caught inside the 25. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Russell Wilson now with four touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. Hopkins with the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Hey, Sam off. He's crossing. He's going. Go. Slam, slam, slam. Get it. On first down, Herbert. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It was way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Rock, rock it, rock it. Pull together. Out, out. Balazs. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. Set, ready? 60 or. I know he ain't got it. Chat, chat, chat. Hey, Alpha. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Getting the sack, the 227-pound linebacker, Quan Alexander. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast, and a big sack. This will be fielded at the 17. A great return there of 22 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over.
Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drives exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was really easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. From the gun, it's Wilson. That's out to his running back, Fournette. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. The last catch nearly got him a first, but it did not. And they'll try to convert on third and inches. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And he finds McDonald. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. The coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. The so, coach. So we get slap happy up here sometimes. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Had an open man that time. We ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Let's go one more. 57 to Mike. Mike 57. And we're pretty close. Oh, pretty quiet. 57 to Mike. 57 to Mike. Wilson. Gonna throw again. And he'll lay out and pull it in. What a diving catch there. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. I know you don't get anything extra for degree of difficulty but maybe you should. He's done absolutely everything in this game today, including laying out for that one. Get ready. Get ready. Fair, fair. Get ready. <laughs> now Wilson on first down. Steps away to his left, and he's got his man, the tight end McDonald. A well-executed 22-yard gain. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. The chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Come on, boy. You got you. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. DK Metcalf with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year, as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Extra point good by Hopkins. And the route is on here in this first half. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line.
The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Check 24, check. Hard, hard. Speed grip, speed grip. To throw again. Herbert. Rush coming and he's taken down. Quan Alexander picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. 56 the mic. Hey, 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 hey. All right, D, let's All right, D. 56 the mic, boy. 56. Hey, dude. From the gun, Herbert. And that will be incomplete. They went with the dime look that time on defense, just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. 17, 17, got Check him out. He's going to sit right over the middle. Watch the middle. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Less than 30 seconds to go in the half. Pretty good starting field position, all things considered. You'd think they definitely have time to get in the field goal range. Yes, and you get into the huddle or you come off the bench here and you've called multiple plays because you're going to... Got a man, it's caught at the six-yard line. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Check 26, check 26. Watch that, watch that, watch that. Wilson going to fake the give and keep it himself. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Justin Evans. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Of course, they have the option, and they choose to not take the penalty. They like the results of the play that they just ran, and they elect to let them stand. Set up. 15, Lonnie. 15, Lonnie. Watch, watch the flag. Watch the flag. Watch the flag. Hey, Echo. Look, look. Squeeze. Hey, hey, watch it. Watch it. Now. Throwing on first down. Herbert. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. Brings up second and ten at the 20-yard line. 
After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Go! Hold! Hold! Hey, Delta! 54 is Mike! 54 is Mike! Check, check, watch 54! Ready, ready! The final shot before Bray. Herbert. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted! Picked off near the 32. And he will be brought down as time has now run out on this first half of action. So we've reached halftime here in what is quickly turning into quite a round. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. The Jaguars in possession of the lead, and they will get the football as we are underway in the second half. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately... That's caught inside the 20. It's a big play for the Jaguars. 56 yards. The last drive he threw the pick, but he's not shy. He's going downfield again there. And you can't be, because if you back off after throwing an interception... Your whole game plan just goes right out the window, and it makes things easier for a defense. And you and I both know there's no quarterback in this league that's any good that doesn't throw an interception occasionally, and they usually bounce back in a big way. I've seen guys throw five and still find a way to win the game. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Chalk that up as their first sack in this game, and they tallied four a week ago. And probably not as much exultation in that sack as what took us so long because when you get four the previous week you're counting on continuing that momentum they didn't get that done in the first half of the game let's see now if they start to bring even more exotic pressure towards the quarterback he's gonna let it go deep got his man it's caught touchdown jaguars cameron batson with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. As his guys continue to pour it on. Hopkins with the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Leo, Leo. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation... Go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up the first down. Keep the sticks moving. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. 36, 36. 22-jet bomber, 22-jet bomber. 
five. Looking to throw. Herbert looking for his running back, and he's got him. They'll get a couple yards on that one, and it'll be a second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Check nine, check nine. Check, check. Protein spill. Hey, orbit. Fair, fair. Get it. Here's second and eight. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. And we just saw another example. These cornerbacks have played tight coverage all game long. Might start wanting to think about a few double, triple move routes to try and shake their guys free. Because they have, you're right, they have had no room to breathe. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Back to throw. Herbert will try and set up the screen. It's complete. And this effort won't do it. He needed to get to the 45. He's a yard or two short. The screen gets seven, but it's not enough, and it'll be fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. And now before they run this play on fourth and one, we're going to get a break and a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. And they bring their punter out there now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Take it in at the 22. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. The last time out, another touchdown. I think there may be some empty seats around here by the time the fourth quarter comes around. Yeah, I have to agree with you because this one's just about decided. But you know who benefits from all those empty seats? You and me trying to get to the airport. That's the roads true. will be fairly that, clear that is by the time one we have to leave the booth. Let's get it. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Let's get off the field, D. Let's get off the field, D. Look pass, look pass. Now Wilson. A fight for the football and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 44. And what a return as he brings this all the way back down to the 20-yard line. Ha, oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. On first down, here's Love. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Check, check, lucky, lucky, lucky. Hey, hey, check 24, watch 24. 80 weapon. Bravo. 54, let's go. Check, check. Looking to throw. Herbert. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. 
Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Go! Check Mike 54. Mike 54. Hey, Wahoo! Rock, rock it, rock it. Keep dribbling, keep dribbling. Operating from the gun. Herbert, this will be caught just inside the 10. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Ready, break. 61, matchbox, lights. Look at me. Go, go. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. That's a gain of seven, and will leave them with second and goal coming up. That's what they wanted out of that first down play. Run it down there. Now they're knocking on the door. The only thing that would have been better was getting it in. And now they can do whatever they want because they've got confidence on their side. Line up quickly and go or savor it a little bit. But I run right back at them. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? They'll try to run this one in. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He lost four there, and it's third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Now from back at the five, this is third and goal. And he'll give it here to his running back. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. It's about a three-yard pickup there, but more importantly, they're still a few yards away here. It's now fourth down and goal. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And the 10-year back knocks it through the goal post. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. I'm kind of surprised by that, that they kicked the field goal. I guess you get some points, but this deficit third quarter, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. When you're down that much, kicking a field goal, does it feel a little bit maybe waving the white waving flag? The flag. I just want to get out of here. Yeah, I, I think you got to go ahead and try and get some bigger points on the board. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team. That their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, the teeter right there on the brink, aren't they? Back now, just east of Manhattan in Brooklyn. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. From the 29, Wilson. He's going to rifle on deep left side. It's caught inside the 25. A big third down play there for the Jags.
54 yards. And the Jaguar first down. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Fournette running out of the gun. Fournette a first down still going. And he gets it all the way down to the three. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Yeah, not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, they want to ride him down the stretch. He should have fresh legs. They'll come out in the pistol. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. There's Wilson. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. That I'm struggling to understand a little bit. That close to the goal line, first down, run the football. If you want to throw it, throw some play action on second down. So first down went the wrong direction. They're at the 13-yard line. Here's second and goal. To throw is Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. I thought they were going to sack him there like they did on first down. Great coverage, but he found a way to move with his legs. Yeah, his ability to take off. Not only did he get some yardage back, he got a little bit extra. Really helps him on third down. Makes it manageable now. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? One left, one left. Hey, one set, one set. Check Mike 54. Alert, 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 alert. Set Here's Fournette. And he'll take this one in for a Jags touchdown. Leonard Fournette with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. As his guys continue to put this one out of reach. So another score there. And often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership that <laughs> as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense right not too happy. Right there, right it's a balancing there, act, one. isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense that's well-coordinated. The front and the back on, really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. Hey, box drop, box drop. 56. Mike, 56. Right there, right there. 56. Let's go, Tackle. Let's go. We got this. We got this. Throwing again on second and ten. Herbert. And his throw's going to be incomplete. His big tight end, Tyler Eifert, the intended receiver. But now it's third down. I think this one offensively, this is one where you just say, let's move on. Let's not even watch the game tapes from this one. Yeah, you might just want to throw it in the trash, act like it was never there in the first place. Yeah, just say we're good. I actually have heard of a coach in the past who took his team out to the practice field 
and ceremonially buried the game films from the prior game when they got clobbered. That was his way of putting it behind them. Check Mike 54. Mike 54. Hey, hey, Wood. Look, look, squeeze. You're out. Five. On third down, Herbert. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they will take them out. But for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. From the 41, Wilson. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really what? difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. Touch 50, touch 50. Right there, 54, right there, right there. 54, Mike. Stay with your man. 54 is Mike. 54 is going four down, four down. 54. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Mike's 54. On oh, third down, Wilson. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. That's caught inside the 20. It's a big play for the Jaguars. 52 yards. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people what? pointed what? out to me, this is a video game, man. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. Wilson going to fake the give and keep it himself. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Too far downfield, something those linemen have to watch out for, and that time it costs them. What? Move the team. Mike, 12, 12, 12. He's coming. After the penalty, it's four down. And he gets us inside the 10 to the 9. It's also a gain of 9. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Again, it's Fournette. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. A nine-yard touchdown run as his guys continue to pour it on. There's no doubt in my mind. And do you hear that? Do you hear the... It, it's not scales, right? No, I don't hear scales. Do I actually hear a tune think, being warbled? I think the fat lady's humming. Yeah, she's doing more than humming. She's building it out right she's now. Going. She's full board. Yeah, this thing is flat out finished. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that will extend this big lead. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line.
The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards there, first down. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Hey, Charlie. Hey, tighten, tighten down, tighten down. There you go. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's our home team here in possession of the football as we come back. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. On first and ten, Herbert is going to hit his man out of the backfield complete. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop. But that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. And they'll get nine there as that sets them up better for third down. Ready, ready. AT Gator. You won't see me in your nightmare, son. You won't see me in your nightmare. Go, go. Be free. On third and two, Herbert. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. On fourth down, Herbert. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. Mike, who are you? Mike, five, four. Strip the ball. Strip that ball. Down to a knee for the Jags. Victory seemingly in hand. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Jacksonville, they improved to 5-0 now on the young season. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the home team here, things aren't looking good. It'll be an 0-5 start. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.